<clears throat> hey, what's up, beer fans? Thanks for joining me. Um, so we're not doing the Olympic one today. Uh, we're going to do that tomorrow when I'm off because it's going to involve me drinking uh, multiple beers, which I don't want to do on a day that I have to work. Um, so yeah, today, just doing a quick little one. It is a sour, which you know I love sours. It's by a brewery in Bend, Oregon. Um, go ahead and show you. Ten Barrel Brewing is the name of the brewery. Crush is the name of the beer. Uh, I love sours, so definitely excited to try this. It's 6% alcohol. Um, it says, brewed to appeal to any palate or virgins of the sour craze. Uh, this award-winning beer is crisp and refreshing, made for you to crush anywhere, anytime. This time is now. Hashtag crush life. It says that on here. I'm not, I don't just throw out hashtags like that. Let's try it. So this brewery, I don't know too much about it. Um, Ten Barrel Brewing, never had it before. They have a brewery in San Diego, California, or like a brew pub. Um, as well as Colorado, but their main brewery is in Bend, Oregon. And they have the unfortunate distinction of being known as one of the craft breweries that has sold to Anheuser-Busch. So, it's kind of disappointing, but at the same time, can't blame them. Um, I know if I had a startup and Microsoft tried to buy it, it'd be tempting definitely be pretty hard not to sell um, but it is disappointing because you know Anheuser-Busch uh, not known for their quality that's for sure but they have been buying up a lot of craft breweries lately um, which you can't blame them because that's where a lot of the money is right now so first of all it's a beautiful ruby kind of reddish um, really pretty kind of pink Smells delicious, smells like raspberries, as you would expect. Um, yeah, let's try it. Mmm. That is excellent. I like that. It, uh, basically, all sours kind of taste similar. It's just kind of the degree to which, I guess, they are sour. Um, that makes any sense. But they all have a similar mouthfeel, uh, very tart, crisp, acidic almost. It's good. This one has a bit of a strange aftertaste. It's almost um, kind of like a grapefruit flavor. You know how that has like that really strong um, taste at the end? almost kind of earthy but still sour it's kind of like that it's good though it's you know it's just it's a decent raspberry sour um nothing nothing out of the ordinary um but it's good it's a very drinkable sour hence the hashtag crush life i like that um i also like that it's in a can it's nice. You can drink it um, anywhere on the go. Not while you're driving, though. Can't do that. But yeah, as you can see, very drinkable. Um, not my favorite sour. Not the worst sour I've ever had. As far as sours go, this is going to be a little lower. Um, I love sours so much. I've got a pretty high... Um, I guess ceiling for sours. So I'm gonna give this one a seven point seven, which is good. That's good. It's a good beer. Would I buy it again? Yes, I would. Uh, I don't think it was too expensive, and yeah, I could definitely see myself because sours typically are expensive, um, especially the barrel aged ones. It's hard to get like a lot of sours. Usually it's just kind of um, like a treat every once in a while for me. 
So yeah, I could I could see myself buying some of these. Um, have a sour every day if I wanted. But yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I would recommend it. Gets my seal of approval. Ten Barrel Brewing, Crush Raspberry Sour, six point five percent. I think I said six earlier. How to Bend Oregon is owned by Anheuser Busch, so wouldn't fault you if you didn't buy it. But don't let that stop you from buying it necessarily because it is a good sour. Cool. Thank you. Hope you guys have a good day.